Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to day number eight. I like. Bing. And today, inshallah ta'ala, I say jazakumullah khairan to all of you who crashed my server yesterday as everybody went to the big announcement at postramadan.com. If you weren't able to get through, check it out now, postramadan.com. There's a verse, that we're on day number eight, and there's a verse that's not in the eighth juz, but we're going to bring it up because it's pertinent to an ayah that we're talking about today. This is in Surah Yusuf, verse, which is Surah number 12, verse 105, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, How many signs in the heavens and the earth do they pass by and they're heedless to it? They pass by, it's right in front of them, and they're not paying attention to it. They're heedless to it. So today, inshallah ta'ala, the surah that we're reciting in Tarawih, Surah Al An'am, which is, and, and the surah number is 6, verse 151, is one of these signs. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا تَقْتُلُوا أَوْلَادَكُمْ مِنْ إِمْلَاقٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you and loves your children more than you love yourself, more than you love your children. And this ayah is proof of it. The reason being is that people in the past, when they would have a fear of poverty, when they would have a fear, almost like somebody, you know, when you get a horse or somebody buys a horse and they think, oh, we're going to have to feed this horse, so let's just kill it and save our money. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, don't kill your children for fear of poverty, for fear of want. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this verse says, and don't kill your children if you have want. In, indeed, if you're in the midst of poverty and you have want, don't kill your children. In this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Nahnu wa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we will provide for you and we will provide for your children. And in the other verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Nahnu wa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we will provide for them and we will provide for you. Now the sign that we're talking about. When a child is in the mother's womb, in the, in the mother's stomach, when the child's in the mother's stomach, who is feeding the baby? You know you have women, they say something like, you know, they go to a big buffet and they say, oh, I'm eating for two people. I ask this question to all the mothers out there, are you feeding the baby? And the answer is no, you have nothing to do with the feeding of the baby. The baby is in fluid, the baby has an umbilical cord, your food is being converted into nourishment for this child. No one except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is feeding the baby, subhanAllah. But then the, the parents, sometimes in some cultures, they have a fear that if this child is born, he's going to eat our food, he's going to take away our money, take away our provision, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Don't don't kill the children out of want or out of fear of want. We will provide for them and you. And so when a child is born, who feeds the baby? This is the sign that I'm talking about. Who feeds the baby when the baby is born? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, it gives you tingles just thinking about it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts milk into the breast, into the chest of the mother. And now from the umbilical cord, now the child has two streams of this milk coming to him, or coming to the child. Who is providing for this baby? It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. نَحْنُ نَرْزُقُهُمْ We will feed them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala feeds the baby. Now for all of you who are praying in Tarawih, for all of you who are worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that baby that we're talking about is you. That's right. It's somebody else as well, but it's also you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised your parents and promised their parents, don't kill your children out of fear of want or out of want. We will provide for the baby. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided for you stage after stage after stage until you arrived at this moment watching this tarawih truffle and you've already pressed the like button. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves for you, loves guidance for you, loves hidayah for you, and loves for you to enter his paradise. This is Muhammad al-Sharif.